Now, an Emeritus News Brief, I'm Lynn Houston. President Obama has released specifics of his $75 billion homeowner rescue proposal. The president made his announcement at a high school in Mesa, Arizona. Arizona is one of the areas where there are more foreclosures than home sales. The plan I'm announcing focuses on rescuing families who've played by the rules and acted responsibly by refinancing loans for millions of families in traditional mortgages who are underwater or close to it, by modifying loans for families stuck in subprime mortgages they can't afford as a result of skyrocketing interest rates or personal misfortune, and by taking broader steps to keep mortgage rates low so that families can secure loans with affordable monthly payments. At the same time, this plan must be viewed in a larger context. A lost home often begins with a lost job. Many businesses have laid off workers for a lack of revenue and available capital. Credit has become scarce as markets have been overwhelmed by the collapse of security back, securities backed by failing mortgages. In the end, the home mortgage crisis, the financial crisis, and this broader economic crisis are all interconnected. We can't successfully address any one of them without addressing them all. Some of the other details of the program, it could help up to 9 million homeowners, including refinancing help for 4 to 5 million homeowners who receive their mortgages through Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac, and new incentives for lenders to modify terms of subprime loans at risk of default or foreclosure. Details of the stimulus bill signed Tuesday reveals $250 stimulus checks for those getting Social Security, SSI, or disability payments. $500 if both husband and wife are getting benefits. No additional work needed. It'll just be sent to you or deposited in your account. More details on the Emeritus News Financial Pensions page. The Federal Reserve releasing projections for the coming year, which have been revised downward from a projection made back in October. The Fed's Open Market Committee expects national unemployment to reach 8.8 percent this year, with the economy shrinking between one-half to 1.3 percent. During a speech today at the National Press Club, Fed Chairman Ben Bernanke said the Fed would do what it takes to get the economy out of the downward spiral. Getting a new electrical grid for the country is critical to avoid future blackouts and brownouts and make the most of new generation systems. That from the new Energy Secretary, Stephen Chu. He says he'll also put Department of Energy loans for green energy projects on a fast track. Uh, the loan applications before were averaging 500,000 pages. Uh, we're kind of reduced that to about 50 pages. That's about right. Uh, it won't increase the exposure the government is in making these loans. Uh, you don't need a thousand pages to show that this is a suitable loan. And uh, our, our target now is to start cutting checks in the new uh, uh, loan guarantee programs by the end of April, beginning of May. So three or four months instead of three or four years. More on that story on the Emeritus News business page. A report by the GAO says the shortage of veterinarians will only get worse unless something is done. The report claims that 27 percent of veterinarians at federal government agencies will be eligible to retire within three years. Efforts to determine the veterinarian workforce needed for a catastrophic event are insufficient, according to the GAO. More on the Emeritus News education page. And there's a report urging state and federal officials to allow parents to insure their children up to age 29 instead of 18. That report from the group Community Catalyst says this would provide coverage for young adults whose age group now has the largest percentage of uninsured. New York Governor Patterson has already proposed this change. More on the Emeritus News health care page. The latest on the biggest issues and public policy at EmeritusNews.com. That's an Emeritus News Brief. I'm Lynn Houston.